cradle of humanity, the Horn of Africa is a mountainous peninsula comprising several countries nestled between two continents at the mouth of the Indian Ocean at a crossroads that's been coveted for centuries. In this land of traffickers and travel writers, Ethiopia, a 2,000-year-old country, cohabits alongside younger states emerging from the colonial period. Islam coexists alongside Christianity, settled farmers live alongside nomadic populations. Interest in the region significantly increased with the construction of the Suez Canal in the 19th century. Ethiopia alone escaped the colonial ambitions of European empires which otherwise divided up the zone between them apart from a brief period of Italian occupation during World War II when Axis and Allied powers confronted one another. International interest in the Horn continued after the war. As world alliances shifted it became a hotspot during the Cold War conflict. It's a volatile region where state and interstate conflicts periodically flare up. Relations of adjacent countries are mutually suspicious, with governments occasionally supporting internal independence movements in a bid to destabilise their neighbours. But despite its problems, the Horn, which is located on one of the world's most important energy trade routes, continues to attract the interest of global powers. Many of the refugees currently risking their lives attempting to reach Europe come from this drought-prone region which contains the country with Africa's second largest population, yet also maintains key commercial activities. Between Djibouti and Ethiopia and in self-declared independent Somaliland, major transport infrastructures are being developed mostly financed by China. But interests in the region are also linked to the fight against terrorism and piracy with vulnerable countries in the Horn particularly at risk of infiltration by terrorist networks. France, the United States, Japan and soon China all have a military presence in Djibouti as they seek to fight piracy or target zones held by the Islamist Shabab in Somalia. Meanwhile, Gulf countries engaged in a coalition against rebels in Yemen are also looking to gain a foothold in the secretive state of Eritrea.